First survey of the Northern Great Barrier Reef has found damage from coral bleaching is worse than previously thought. JCU scientists have found some reefs with as little as 5% live coral cover after a mass bleaching event. It's like touring an underwater graveyard. Six months after an extreme underwater heat wave caused mass bleaching in the northern third of the reef, a team of JCU researchers has returned for a health check. The prognosis isn't good. Around Lizard Island in particular, um, the story is very bleak and there's been dramatic losses of coral cover. From around 40% then to less than 5% now. The health of these surviving corals is potentially compromised. That leads to an increased abundance and, and um, occurrence of coral diseases. The interim findings from around 50 of the 83 reefs previously surveyed confirm the researchers' worst fears. No, it would have been nice to be wrong, but, um, but we weren't. Corals can recover from bleaching. This brain coral at Yong Reef is regrowing after its top half succumbed to the heat. And reefs like this one near Townsville remain largely healthy, prompting the tourism industry to stress rumours of the reef's demise are greatly exaggerated. We need to get the word out that the reef is still a wonderful place to visit and there are still many parts of the reef that are not affected. The survey will be finished next month. Robert Baird, 7 News.